Driving with John is coming through! Hey everybody, welcome to Driving with John. So, <clears throat> I appreciate you showing up and watching this video. From what I understand, you're thinking about going into trucking. Um, or you're just entering trucking. Well, I have some advice for you. There are a few things you really need to know, alright? First and foremost, when you go to your first company, make sure you read the lease before you do the lease thing. 98% um, of the mega carriers, I'll say 98 because there's probably one that does it right, make most of their money off of the lease drivers by the lease they lease to you on their truck, not by the loads that you haul. That should tell you something. Part of that is because they're leasing you a truck that they leased to the guy just before you that lasted six months and then quit. And the guy before him that lasted a year and a half and then quit, that truck's already been paid off and now everything you're paying them is pure profit. Yeah, that's how it works. So that's the first thing I'd warn you if you're a brand new driver or you're gonna become a brand new driver. The second warning I have for you. And this one is more of a from my experience thing um when you're going to come into trucking you're going to want to get as much experience as you can on somebody else's dime you're not going to want to run out and buy a truck and go out for your very first trucking job with your own truck and try to run loads first of all very expensive second of all why would you do that when you can go company driver with another company yeah you won't make as much money but guess what all the bumps and bruises you get when you're learning how to drive a rig you're gonna get on their dime not on yours on their insurance not on yours okay so just make sure that when you're going out to start you're gonna go out and get the experience and learn before you jump in and buy a truck just my advice you can do it any way you want but that's just from my experience number three um, number three would be if you're a brand new driver what you're gonna want to do is when you get out there in the rig do a few very important things okay it's important to be on time so how are you gonna be on time not by rushing there and driving recklessly leave hours early get there at least an hour early to every appointment okay even if you're going to a Walmart, they'll let you in an hour early. But you're late one time, and you'll understand why. So always be on time. And if you're not early, you're late. All right? Big thing. Also, on along the same lines, when you're a brand new driver, always prepare for everything to take longer than what you think it will. So in other words, let's say you have a 10 a.m. appointment, okay? And you're an hour away. Are you going to leave at 9 a.m.? No. You know why? Because if you leave at 9 a.m., you're going to hit one red light or something's going to go wrong and you're going to be late. Are you going to leave at 8 a.m.? Well, I said be an hour early, but you're not preparing for anything that could happen. I would leave an hour and a half early if I'm an hour... Let me put that. Let me put that. I'd leave two and a half hours early for that appointment. You're an hour away, so then you're gonna get there. The earliest you're gonna get there is an hour and a half early. But that half an hour, you'll be surprised. You'll stop to get fuel, look, right? It's gone as soon as you do that. You'll hit a traffic jam, all different things like that. So always prepare with extra time on top of early. Number four, as a new trucker, you should always be willing to listen to other drivers that have been doing this a long time. Yes, they think they're the best driver in the world and they think you're a steering wheel holder and they think you suck and blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Throw all that stuff out the window. Listen to what they're saying. They have very, very good experience and very bad experience. And you can take what they say and try it and see how well it works for you. That's how I pretty much learned how to drive. I was trained very short period of time. I taught myself by number one, talking to other people, 
and trying things that they said or figuring it out myself, which can be a costly long process. So always listen to somebody that has more experience than you. You can learn, you can learn, you can learn. And you'll always be learning and trying. The final one and number five, and this is probably the most important one, guys. Very, very most important one. Make sure that your wife, your friends, your family, are all on board and understand the sacrifices they're going to have to make to not have you at home. Because it's not easy for you, you're out there alone. It's not easy for them either. If they depend on you and you're not there, you see what I'm saying? So you need to have a support system that's understanding, that knows that you're not always going to be home for everything. Alright guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Just wanted to help out some new truckers out there that are either thinking about getting into trucking or already are. If you can think of anything else that you'd like to tell a new trucker, keep it nice, put it in the comment section. If you are a new trucker and you want to look for more advice, look, here's the thing. There are trucking YouTube channels and Facebook pages all over the place. And you can go to all of them, okay? And I'm not saying I'm better or worse than any of them. What I'm saying is, listen to what they're saying listen to what i'm saying don't just jump in blind and think that you can be a hero i'm telling you it will backfire if you got anything from this video do me a favor go down there to subscribe ring the bell make sure it's a thumbs up if you thought it was comical or i don't know what i'm talking about i'm a blowhard okay fine don't subscribe or do subscribe so you can make fun of me on all my videos i'm fine with either one so Thank you for watching, guys. All my trucking buddies out there, keep your rubber on the road. Keep your tires between the lines. Stay right side up. Hey, to all my non-trucking buddies out there or soon-to-be truckers, do me a favor. Always remember, truckers are people too. Be nice to them. See you on the next video.